Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to show you two methods of avoiding using a Microsoft account when setting up Windows 11 25H2 on your new PC. This method is, well, actually, both methods are going to be suitable for both users using Windows 11 Home or Windows 11 Professional. Both work equally as well and are actually kind of revamped versions of older bypasses made for the modern world. So, without further ado, let's head over to the computer and take a closer look. Okay, so we're on our Windows desktop and we've just got to the first part of the out of box experience. Now what you're going to want to do is to press Control, Shift and J and then you'll get the command console come up. This is the JavaScript commands console, so it's a little bit different. And what we want to do now is to type in the following command. So that is what we want to type in, winjs.application.restart brackets colon ms dash cxh colon forward slash forward slash local only comma end bracket and when you've got that obviously make sure that yours looks the same as ours and also has the capitalization in the correct places it is important and when you're ready just press enter so now we've got the new pop-up saying create a new user for this pc so press escape and that should exit from the command console for JavaScript. And then you can just go ahead and do what you would normally do, just put in a username, so new user, etc. You can choose to make a password, etc., all that kind of stuff, or just click on next, and you're then basically bypassing the Windows setup process for the rest of it, such as Microsoft account, etc. etc. So that's a pretty good one. So now let's take a look at another option. Okay, so now on to the next method. So for this one, we want to press Shift and F10 on your keyboard. Make sure that on your keyboard, if you're not using a full-size one, that you may need to toggle the function key to get the Shift or F10 key available. But you should find that the administrator command prompt comes up. And at which point we want to type in a relatively long string. What we're actually going to do here is actually add back in the bypass NRO command. So they've actually removed it from the registry. So we're just going to add it all back. So let's go ahead and do that. So there we go. It's a relatively long string. So we've got reg space add space hklm slash software slash Microsoft slash Windows slash current version slash OOBE space forward slash V space bypass NRO space forward slash T space reg D word space forward slash D space one space forward slash F quite a mouthful I think you'll agree uh, it isn't going to be in the video description so we will leave it there for you once you've got that in just press enter and you should come up with a notification saying the operation completed successfully so that's great so now what we want to do is type in shutdown space forward slash R space forward slash T space and zero and then press enter at this point, it's probably a good idea as well to disconnect your Wi-Fi antenna or turn off Wi-Fi if you possibly can, and also remove any network connections such as your Ethernet cables, that kind of stuff. Once you've done that, press Enter, and you'll get the message just a moment, and we're waiting for a reboot. And at this point, we'll be greeted again by the out-of-box experience, so just choose your settings as you would do normally. And normally it would connect you to a network, but now we do have the option here for I don't have internet. So you can click on don't have internet. And who's going to use this device again? We'll just call it new user and click on next. Enter a password if you wish. And then you've gone and set up the rest of your installation without having to use a Microsoft account, which again is a lot something which a lot of us are actually trying to avoid these days if at all possible it does seem to be getting more and more intrusive obviously if you want a microsoft account you go ahead put your microsoft account details in that choice is entirely up to you but for most people who want to avoid it this has been a video with the two methods of bypassing the microsoft account requirement so there we go there are two options of how to bypass using a microsoft account with windows 11 25 h2 this has all been working as of today's date which is the 10th of october 2025 so hopefully these will remain in place for a little while as with all things we are playing whack-a-mole with microsoft as soon as there's some sort of bypass they seem to patch it but there's a lot of clever people out there in the world 
which will post these types of things so we can spread the information and bypass those account restrictions. So anyway, hopefully this video's been useful. If it has, smash that like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe. And then also don't forget to hit the chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll see you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.